Hi there, this is Precious. In this video, I will be showing you how to use the majority of the Vim commands that you would encounter in your programming journey. Learning these commands are going to make your programming life very productive and quick. So without much ado, let's get to it. The first thing we need to do is to open up our terminal the shortcut for that is Control Alternate T. To open your Vim editor, all you need to do is type VIM. Enter. But one quick way or one productive thing I love to do is to create my file immediately I open Vim. So to do that, let's reopen the terminal. Control Alternate T. Then you say VIM. Then the name of the file, let's call this file learnvimnow.txt, so it's a test file, enter. As you can see the name of the file, learnvimnow, which is a test file. So the very first thing we need to do is, if you notice, we have our cursor blinking, but we can't type anything into this editor right now because we are not in the mood to edit for you to be able to insert into your vim editor you have to click you have to type the letter i right here so the letter i takes you into what is called the insert mode insert mode is the mode where you can type in any character in your vim editor so letter i as you can see the notice here says inserts and now we can type in anything we want. Let's go. Hello. My name is Precious Ireo. I am a software developer, but I love to learn a lot. These videos serve as a record for me to come back to for further learning. I also do the videos to help you to be better. thank you so as you can see we have been able to type in some characters into our vim editor by entering into the insert mode to exit or leave the insert mode all you need to do is just to press the escape button on your keyboard escape returns you to the normal mode so escape so with escape you can't type in anymore as you can see, I can't type in anything anymore. But if you want to type in anything again, all you need to do is to come back here and press your letter I, which brings you back into inserts. And escape takes you out of inserts. There is also a third, a third mode that is called the command mode. The command mode, you get into it with the semicolon, but we are not there yet so when we get there i'm going to show you what we can do with the command mode but right now just know that for you to be able to insert anything inside of your vim editor you use the letter i to enter into the insert mode and you use the escape button to return to the normal mode the next section is the next section we are in right now is the editing mode the editing section and in the editing section, you can see letter O is used to insert a new line below the current line and also enter into insert mode. So let's try it. Small letter O. You see, there is a new line below and now we are inside of the insert mode. I'm going to type something here. I am a new line and this is an insert mode you can also get a new line above not just below by using shift 
O. But first, you need to exit out of the insert mode. So escape, then shift O, or that is capital letter O, and you see I am also a new line but above. So as you can see, you can insert a line below or above using the small letter O or capital letter O or shift O and also entering into the insert mode. The next command is R. With R, you can replace. So let's escape to exit out of the insert mode. Now, pressing capital letter R or shift R puts you in the replace mode. In replace mode, you can type anything to replace your current characters or words. Let's try it out. Fresh, as you can see, E is gone. Let me go back, let me remove everything here. So I'm going to type above this and you see it gets replaced. A new line, but on top. As you can see, we've been able to replace the previous characters that were there. So let's go back to our normal mode by type by pressing escape. The next one is DD. DD is used to delete line. So we are on this line. To delete everything on this line, all you need to do is press small letter DD twice. DD. As you can see, the line is gone. That line has been removed. We delete a line using DD. You replace a character. You enter into replace mode using R. The next one is V, small letter V and capital letter V. What do we do with this? We use it for highlighting. So for you to highlight, for you to highlight, you have to use the small letter V. And let's try it. So when you are in the normal mode, just enter into or press small letter V. As you can see, you are already is showing you visual cell highlighting here. Now you can use your arrow buttons to highlight everything that you want. Like I'm doing now. But this is a bit slow because it's going one by one. If you use capital letter V, you would be able to highlight in line mode, which is faster. So shift V, you see? That's in line, visual line mode for highlighting. And you just press down, it highlights the line as you go. So V, both capital letter and small letter, I use for highlighting. Now, when you have highlighted everything, there is a new command called yank. Yank is like copy. Why? So when you yank, it means like you're copying what you've highlighted. So let's come back here and yank this. So, as you can see, it says six lines yanked. And when you yank, you can actually you can actually paste them into a new line. So, let's try what we did previously by dropping into a new line using small letter O. You can escape the insert mode and to paste what you've yanked, all you need to do is to use the letter P. As you can see, we have been able to drop it. For you to be sure, I'm going to try it again. Letter P. As you can see, we've been able to paste what we've yanked previously. So, to go over it again, you enter into visual mode with V. Capital letter V or small letter V. You use your arrow buttons to highlight. Then you use your Y to yank, which is like copy. Then you use your P to paste. The next one is X, which you can use to delete character. So, let me bring this down here. Let me bring the cursor down here so you can see it happening. With X, you can delete characters. So, I'm going to type on X. This X, delete character. So, let's do it now. As you can see, I'm deleting characters with X. It's like deleting. It's like using your backspace. That is what S does. 
So the difference between X and DD is DD is going to delete the entire line Y X is going to delete the character. Please always ensure that you are in the normal mode by clicking escape before you do use any of the commands. So X is going to delete the characters. The next one is search. So we can actually search in this document. All we need to do is use the slash and what do we want to search for? Let me search for my name, Precious. No pattern found because, well, it is case sensitive. So let's escape and do it again. Precious. Enter. As you can see, it found the first pressures and you can see the cursor is blinking there already. You can go to the next pressures by clicking on the letter N. As you can see, you are on the next pressures now. On the next one. So when you search for any word, you can use N to navigate to all the occurrences of that particular word in your document or character. So that is search and the next word on search using N. Also, you can undo if you make a mistake. So, I'm going to delete part of my name, Precious, using X. Oh, and I just realized that I've made a mistake. To come back to where it was before, all you need to do is to use the letter U. See? Is undoing all my mistakes so that is that on editing so you can pause this video and go over it again the next one is navigation navigation makes it easy for you to run through your documents so the first thing first is you can use the arrow buttons to move the cursor like I'm doing here I'm going to the right I'm pressing the right cursor, uh, right button arrow button, left arrow button, down arrow button, hop arrow button. But also you can use HJKL. H J K L. But ideally I would always advise that you use the arrow button instead of HJKL. Also you can jump. So let's say we want to go to we want to go down by 10 lines. We can say 10 j as you can see it jumped down to the 10th line let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 j if you want to go to the top line on the screen you use the capital letter h that is shift h shift h does this see it took us back to the top of the screen to so go to the middle of the screen you use shift M shift M just keep looking at the cursor see we are in the middle to go to the bottom of the screen we use shift L so let's do it again shift H to the top shift M to the middle shift L to the bottom to go to the first line of the file you use GG as you can see it has gone to the first line to go to the bottom of the file, to the last line of the file, you use Shift G. You can see. So let's go again. GG, Shift G. Can you see what is happening? GG, Shift G, GG, Shift G. That's that for going to the first line of the file and the last line of the file. To go to the beginning of next word, you use W. So let's go to the top of the file gg let's move forward a bit let's come to this so let's stay in the middle of this word now to go to the beginning of the next word you use w can you see what has happened we were in the middle of pressures but when we type when we press w it took us to the first letter of my surname i to go back to go to the end of the current words to go to o you use e 
So go to the beginning of the current word, you use B. So B O. Sorry, I just click on inserts. So we are in the middle again. Let's go to the end of the current word by using he and to the beginning by using B. You can also jump to line 20 of the file. So remember I was telling you about the enter command mode. This is one example of a place where you can use it. So let's try it out. We want to jump to line 20. So colon 20. As you can see, we don't have line 20, so it jumps to the end of the file. Let's try 10. Colon or 15. Line 15. So you see we have line 15 and it has jumped to line 15. To go to the beginning of the current line, you use 0. To go to the end of the current line, you use dollar. But we are already at the beginning of the current line, so or let's move to the middle. So to go to the beginning of the current line, we use 0. To go to the end, we use dollar. So you can find where that is on your keyboard. So 0 to go to the beginning of the line, then dollar to go to the end of the line. Now, when you are done with manipulating your documents, it is important that you save. So this is where we use the commands. The very first command for saving is colon W and you press enter. As you can see, it says learn vimnow.test 70 bytes, 740, 20 line, 740 bytes written. To save the current file and close it, this also exits vim, you use the same command but with Q. I'm not going to do that now because I don't want us to close the command, the, uh, the Vim editor now. Also, if you want to save a file, to quit a file which is saved already, you use colon Q. It is going to close the file. To also close a file without saving, this is first, you use, let me type it out for you. So, WQ, please look here, WQ is going to save the current file and close the file. So it's going to take us out of this place. Well, let's do it. Or no, because I don't want to close this file. The next one is Q. So what Q does is, Q quits the file, but you must have saved the file. Then to first save the file and close, you had a colon, an exclamation mark to the back of Q. And list, or last but not the least, to write any changes to the file and close it permanently, you use colon X, which you will use a lot of time. So, enter. So, thank you very much for running with me on this video on Vim commands. I'm going to put these commands in the description so that you can practice as I've done in the video. You can always move, you can always rewind the video to the back to watch me do it again or you practice on your own. So thank you. I'll see you in the next video.